Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvath. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to insert doors and reposition within the wall. And in this video, I'll present you how to create opening end cap and move doors along the wall lengths. First, I'll show you how to edit opening end cap and how to turn in brick component by openings. You would like to turn in the exterior brick component of 3 layer exterior wall by the doors in 60 mm thickness to create such an outer reveal opening. The following operation line can be performed on the left end of any of the three patio doors. First, Please select the top wall containing the patio doors. Then the wall contextual tab displays on the ribbon, which contains special commands about the walls, similar to the right click menu. End cap commands are also here. Please start the end cap edit in place command. When the select the point near end cap command displays, please select the left side of one of the openings at the wall. Once you have selected it, the program goes to edit in place mode at once, which is shown immediately by the edit in place wall end cap on the ribbon. Please note that until you finish editing with one of the last three buttons, program will stay in this operation mode. If the end of the exterior brick component is not selected, please throw away the selection with escape and select it with a left click. Then please click on the edge grip and start to drag the right and type 60 in the dimension input and finally press enter. Then you can see how to create the two new edges. Now please click on the lower edge grip and drag it to the door frame, namely to the lower face of the insulation. Finally, please click on the save as button on the ribbon. The next step is that you have to name the end cap style on the displayed opening end cap style and you have to mark on which sides of the opening the originally 2D end cap style creates the 3D end cap style. Please type door 3D name in the save as new opening end cap style cell, door 2D name in the save as new wall end cap style cell and let the end the head and the start pay checkboxes on. It means that down at the seal turning in brick component is not desired. At the apply the opening end cap style please turn on the default for this type of opening. Finally you can press OK to close the panel. If you worked well the new opening end cap style applies at the inserted doors patio doors. Let's see now how to modify patio doors. Because of turning in the brick component, the 50mm wide frame of the patio doors sank in the reveal. In the following the door frame is enlarged to 100mm and the size of the doors will be changed from 1600 times 2400 to 1700 times 2500. Please make a left click and select the middle page of your door and then start the select similar command from the right click menu to be chosen all three doors. Now please go to the properties palette and override the width of the three doors to 1700 mm and the height to 2500 mm. 
After typing the height, please press Enter and then put an end to the patio door selection with Escape. The size of the doors has changed, but widening of the frame is still to come. It cannot be changed in each object, only at the style level. Please select one of the patio doors, make a right click and start the Edit Door Style command from the drop-up menu. Please remember that the Door Style Properties panel can be started from the ribbon if you click on the Edit Style button. On the Displaying Door Style Properties panel, please click on the Dimensions tab and in the Frame field override the A width to 100mm. Finally, please press OK to close the panel. The width of the patio doors has changed. In the next part I'll show you how to move the patio door along the wall length. The original 1360mm distance between the two openings got slimmer by widening patio doors. In the following you will restore it by moving the door along the wall lengths. For practicing two different methods can be used. First of all, please select the left patio door and start the reposition along wall command on the contextual door tab displayed on the ribbon from the anchor panel. At the same time a red line appears displaying prompt select position on the opening. Depending on where you move the cursor, the red line will jump between the left side of the door, the right side of the door or the center of the door. Please note that the inside of the door of the frame was used for specifying dimensions, so now the program uses it as a reference side. Please also remember that the red line may not be seen completely because it is overlapped with the end cap or frame, but it can be observed. Please make a strong-minded left-click to the right of the selected door to specify the right edge as a reference face. The next prompt is Select Reference Point. Then, using Snap to End Point, please select the left edge of the middle opening on inside of the frame. During selection the current distance between the two points is written in a dimension input 1210 mm. Enter the new distance between the selected points command from this place and the relevant dimensions input will be active, will be blue. Please type 1360 mm and press enter and then with escape put an end to the selection. The left door is moved, so the new distance between the two openings is 1360mm. As you know that the right door has to be moved by 150mm, now a simpler method will be used here. Please select the right door, click in its center grip, which causes it will be red. And please drag the cursor horizontally to the right, then type 150 and finally press enter. Please note that the accurate horizontally dragging is not a strict demand but it is important to show the new direction to the right. The new status should be like here. In the next series I'll show you how to adding windows and corner windows. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, 
please buy the ebook which guides you step by step.